it, this game is, uh, and we're playing as Catalonia, or the Catalonian Free Republic. Uh, and it's like, uh, I'm playing, not with a mod, but I'm playing with a setting co that makes that Spain is fr can be fragmented. And France too, but I chose to do Spain fragmented. And I chose to play as Catalonia, because it's the weakest power actually so yeah you see here that it's under the second world war so there we have him and him but we also have uh, FDR uh, Franklin D Roosevelt and uh, we have uh, the old champs of uh, United Kingdom <laughs> uh, and everybody has what they should have at least I think so. Yeah, they should have everything that you have there. But Spain is fragmented. Uh, uh, so I'm gonna cut and so so all the times just check in right, and I will update you in like some minutes. Uh, or uh, I see you when something interesting happens. I'm just gonna go over my plan and say that I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna be a fascist right now, okay? So, see you. Okay, now I'm gonna buy a fascist demagogue, which can make so I can be fascist. Uh, I'm almost split with 50% democratic, 47% uh, communist, and 3% uh, fascist. And you can also have a non-aligned, as like Poland. Poland is non-aligned. Then we have Sweden, that is democratic. Soviet Union that is communist, and then Germany that is fascist. And there is uh, like many non aligned in this part of the world. But when you look out in like here, like China, oh, well, that's the wrong place to look at because everybody is like, like non aligned, or somebody is communist, but or fascist. And yeah, here we have yeah, Japan too. Um, who has two puppets? Uh, but then we come down here to Australia and Dutch East Indies, who's uh, controlled by uh, Netherlands. The Netherlands are you in uh, er Europe? But then we have also Ireland and well, Portugal. So this game is under the Second World War. So many countries may exist, but may not exist. Yeah. Uh, so see when something interest, something more interesting happens. And it's fairly close to me, so I'm pretty, I'm a bit scared. But I hope the fascist side wins because then we can improve our relationships with them, and hopefully make an alliance with them. But first we need to take. Uh, but first we just need to wait. Uh, I'm uh, starting. I'm trying to get some more units so I can place out. I just need. I have not enough equipment, but when that get reaches 20, yeah, 20 percent, I can release them. And uh, oh yeah, um, fascism on the rise is one of the uh, decisions I can make. So I can make a whole national referendum, referendum, which makes so I so. The fascist wins, and I became become fascist. But I'm gonna do a discredited government, which makes that I get. If you watch now here, yeah, uh, I'm uh, 32. Oh no, oh no! In four years, I'm gonna be a. I'm gonna be. 
I'm gonna be a, f a communist if I don't do anything. So, uh, uh, I'm gonna see you back when something interesting happens. Or when someone just wins the war, so, yeah. Okay, so now we just need to wait for 1940 and then we became fa and then we will become fascist uh, oh yeah it was two wars too meanwhile uh, national spain had a war and it was uh, between uh, basa cuesa and uh, uh, la, la gracia uh, sorry if i pronounced that wrong because i'm not spanish i can't pronounce spanish names Though I think uh, La Rochelle or so will do great, or else France or Spain is my other two friends with sarcasm in my voice. I will totally backstab them, but uh, I hope I can in some way like spanned out and some way attack someone that isn't well a big country like france or or spain or well maybe i can take out the at least a little thing no nothing is the nothing is a little place in this world because everybody has something not even like, oh yeah, Bhutan, I thought, but I can't get on like those landlocked states like Switzerland or Luxembourg. I can't go after, after Netherlands or Belgium and that will do fine. And I can also go after them, uh, Estonia, Latvia and Lith Lithuania, but that's about it. I can't really attack anybody else. Well, see you when something interesting happens. I can't find something interesting that happens right now. I will see. Okay, so Japan just declared war on China, which is a pretty big thing. I think the. Uh, God, what's his name? Nationalist Spain is winning. If you watch uh, like uh, the battles here, you see the Nationalist Spain is winning with like 10, 11 in favor of them. So they're winning slightly. Here's the Manchuk Chinese War, which is like Chinese Xinjiang and so versus Japan and so. So there's a war both here in Europe, which is National Spain versus Republic of Spain, and down here, which is China and Japan, and Mashuku and Meng Mengshuku is hasn't joined yet, but and uh, the ver or the Greater Eastern East Asian co coast here's the spear. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong, but it's a hard word to say. Versus the Chinese United Front. Wait. No, okay. And... Uh, oh yeah, wait. I got up a list. Here. Here's the uh, different nations there are. There are Axis, which is Germany, yes. Allies, which is Australia, Malaysia... British Raj and Canada. What is. Oh, wait. So, New Zealand, South Africa, and United Kingdom. Then we have the common turn, which is Mongolia, Soviet Union, and Tanisuva. And then the Great Eastern Kofirti Co Spear. I'm gonna pronounce it like that. And then Chinese United Front. But then we have, like, in Europe, the, it's all these countries. In North Africa, America, it's like that. In the North, in South America, it's like that. In Oceania, it's just New Zealand and Australia. In Africa, it's 
Liberia and South Africa. In Asia, it's a lot of countries. And in the Middle East, is like these countries. Uh, I'm gonna start running it so we can see a little bit. Oh, now it comes. Now it comes. Uh, I said I got a troop, so I set it up against the uh, Republic of Spain. But I don't know if that's really a good idea. But as long as I don't fight them. It's fine, and I don't want to get off France really quickly or else. So I don't know what to do. Uh, I'm gonna pause or quit the recording now, to and uh, come back when something interesting happens. Okay, now it's happening something. I finally became. I'm about to became become a uh, com fascist so watch this um now it should pop up a thing i think yeah it should what about that what about oh in five uh, oh in five days or four three, three two one now uh if i click uh, like what what the what the that isn't right when does it come then? I should beca become fascist already, but maybe it's just something wrong with this. I don't know what. Maybe because I'm not uh, stable enough. Yeah, I think so. I think that's why. Because I'm not stable enough. But I should b become fascist. This I think so. I should. Maybe it was. Don't want to be, but I. What's wrong with this? Gotta take this so that makes that I can. What the. I should have that. I'm gonna restart the game and uh, see what's wrong and uh, and uh, get up with you again. Now I finally became fascist. This is just a glitch. So now I'm fascist. I have this cool flag actually, Kalanian flag, Kalanian states. I wish I could take it up, maybe. On a big screen. Well, well. Now I'm gonna start again. And uh, now I can actually justify war goals against people and uh, attack them. I think it might be dumb to do that. So I'm gonna go here and stop that, actually. And go here to collective e list. Which makes, if I come down here to ideological fantasy. I can start a I can create factions which is good for me because that makes it that I can have I'm not the the only landlocked nation here but I can actually justify against them and they will do something but I don't know if that's pretty good to do actually no I'm saving up and you see, I'm gonna so so. Uh, I'm gonna do that, and which makes so I can have less. I'm more fascist than uh, democratic and communist combined. I am it actually now, but no, I don't wanna let myself in. Okay, so I'm gonna quit now and see if something interesting happens. <laughs> Okay, now I'm thinking of something. I might join the Axis with Germany and help them with something. I don't know if I should do it or not. I say like I always say, YOLO. Uh, yeah, send. No, I'm in their faction. So whoever I attack, they will help with.
and I can also move troops to there, which makes my troops can go away from my little country. Though, I'm gonna leave as fast as they declare war on uh, France, or the United Kingdom, because then it's trouble, just, then it's just trouble. And I don't want to have trouble, so, I think I'm gonna justify against Switzerland, because I want some more space up there. Shit. Okay, I do not want to justify against uh, Switzerland, because then it's just, I'm gonna get trashed on. How many is in allies now? Oh. Okay, so it's just that. Though we need, we may, we may need to have uh, Italy in it soon, but we'll see. I'm gonna actually make so I can have a own faction because it's fine. It's better to have an own fa your own faction than just a own a other. Though. I think as far as I'm concerned, I only have like two troops, so I'm not actually have something, so yeah, I think I'll go with the flow when uh, Germany attacks uh, Poland, I will help as, go as good as I can, uh, and I hope, oh, they're gonna do the Manchester land. Oh, that's go so good. They will just take it. So, oh wait, yeah, I know where this is going. Yeah. Oh yeah, I know where this is going. They're go. Oh yeah, yeah, they're gonna go down your war. But first, they're gonna go down here and take the Manchester land. First, Vienna uh, award, and then fate of Czechoslovakia. And please do not do war with the USSR. It is dumb. But I hope they do Danzig for Slovakia. Because I don't want, or yeah, I want to have the war with Poland. But if I'm join, if I join in, it will be a big war. So I'm gonna leave. I think maybe we we will see. Actually, we will see. Oh, I'm starting to produce very many troops. Oh, I'm starting to produce troops now, which is good. Oh, I never thought of that. That's so good, actually, if I think of. Yeah, that's pretty good. If, if German makes war against France, and I have all my troops here, they will be unable to just go and take over France. That's so good, actually. Sorry if I'm hopping that up, but if I have like 10 troops here, oh no, not maybe 10, but like 40 at least. If I have 40 troops here, I can march through. I asked Germany also so much through here, which is that's actually pretty good. Oh, nice. Please make the... Wait, how are you going? The... They're going down the path, I thought. With fate of Czechoslovakia, and then... And then they are going to go Danzig or war. I think they need some more manpower, just. Or more divisions. So I'm gonna... Improve relations. No, we're already good friends. So I'm gonna improve relations with these. Yeah, it's good to improve relations with them. Okay, so Madrid is gonna fall soon, I think. I said that many times now, and I know that. I'm just gonna. I don't know how to. Yeah, send land each. Sure. Uh, I can send them some fuel. Once I can send them like how many do I have current fuel take again So I don't go minus and don't go plus I can do 48 48 then I don't go Then I don't go plus or minus then I just send them fuel and if they need 
if they need fuel. They don't. I, I can't actually. I can just like stop sending them, but I think they need fuel for their tanks. Oh yeah, I'm starting to pump out a lot of uh, divisions, so I have troops for ready. Uh, but I'm cut. I'm gonna cut here and and then I start up when something interesting happens again.